Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys to show you guys a quick hack for your MacBook Pro, one of the newer edition ones. So I have a MacBook Pro 2020 edition here with me. And I found an issue when I bought this MacBook is that it comes with four different Thunder ports. So that kind of caused the issue for me because I'm not able to charge my phone with the USB or anything, use anything that's USB kind of charger or any kind of USB cable. And then I also found that I couldn't put in those micro SD cards after recording and stuff. So that kind of caused the issue because how would I do that? And the solution for that was buying a USB hub, which you can get on Apple's site or something in $70, $80 worth. But then I found this other product that I'm going to be reviewing that's from Amazon. It's called a Moken here. It's a USB hub and essentially it's a plug-in to those Thunder port and I'll show you guys and it's able to convert those Thunder port for you to do your USB-C USB -C ones into what's known as a converter for your USB -E's and other stuff like that like your um, micro sd card so pretty cool too you can get it for on amazon for about 20 dollars or so i'll leave the link in the description for you guys if you guys are looking to check it out as you can see here what it does it's a dongle essentially a hub dongle that extends the macbook's usage from allowing you to do a couple of things such as sd card reader usb 3 and then it kind of gives you the specs as well pretty cheap compared to the 70 80 dollar one and it does about the same thing pretty much as the 70 80 dollar one but much cheaper so let's go ahead and start unboxing this so as you can see here Here's, it comes in this box and then here's the adapter they call it and it has these two different ports so it attaches to the side of either side I think. So we're going to go ahead and then simply put this on this side here. Let's move this around a little bit. Let's see if we can line it up here, move the box here and We'll go ahead and align that up and then push it in there. So that's how you install it. It, it. it is weird that it's on the side and you know it's another thing that you have to add, but it's better than those like having dongles for every single thing because now you have, as you can see, we just have these two USB 3s, um, one for SD cards, another USB 3, and then it also has the whole Thunder port to do the charging and whatnot. So if you still need it, you still have that option. And then on the other side, of course, you have two more of those. But essentially, it's what the older MacBooks used to have. I'm disappointed that, that they took all those away because you do want all of that. And just because you utilize everything else to do that, and the fact that they removed it kind of really sucks because a lot of the stuff is USB 3 right now. So, and then what you can do is simply, if you have the... SD card I said you could just press it in here and there you go that's all you need to do and then for the charger you could just put it in there and now we'll be able to test this out here let's give it a check here the cable and I have your uh, iPhone XS also if you guys are looking for any new iPhones check out the link that I have included uh, as well to some other videos where we buy this iPhone XS really cheap from Amazon uh, and we can go ahead and put that in as you can see here it's charging now so we're able to charge no issue there as well so that's a quick hack and unboxing and product review for you guys this is definitely worth it i think because i'm able to do a lot more now with my macbook that they removed this and hopefully it helps anyone that's looking for kind of usb hub that will extend the functionality of the new work macbook out there so thank you guys for watching if this video was helpful please make sure to hit that thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button as we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways as well see you guys next time